Hello everyone! I am here to talk about Trigun Stampede and my first thoughts. It has been a good solid minute since I did a regular upload on this channel that wasn't just a recycle from my TikTok. And I definitely have some stuff I wanted to talk about this season, so here I am making eff an effort for you! <laughs> So yes, Trigun Stampede just came out this past Saturday, and I'm going to give a little bit of a spoiler warning here because I'm going to talk about a major difference between Stampede and the original. If you haven't seen the original, then you know what? You're not going to care. You're not going to know. It's going to be okay. If you've seen the original, but you haven't done any research and you don't want to be spoiled of this change, then maybe go ahead and skip skip this video. <laughs> um, so yeah, my first initial thoughts on Trigun Stampede. I really like it. I'm very excited for more of it. I am, however, really upset about the removal and replacement of Stun Gun Millie. Rest in peace. Stun Gun Millie, wherever you are. I love you. You're wonderful. I don't know why you're not in the new series, especially with your involvement with Wolfwood, which I loved, but moving right along. So, one of the things I wanted to talk about is when we first saw trailers for Trigun Stampede, a lot of people were seriously concerned about the fact that it was going to be mainly CGI because it's by Studio Orange who we know you know did Beastars and a couple of other series that are really well known for this style. Um, I think it looks great. I think the movement is fantastic. I think everyone's character models look great. I was really impressed with the action sequences that are in this first episode and I don't really have complaints as far as the visuals are concerned. Visually it looks great. Um, I was a little bit concerned about Vash's new look to begin with, but you know what? It really suits him, actually, and he's just as lovable as his original iteration, so, so far, so good. Like I said, I'm just sad about the one major thing that they've really changed. I don't mind a retelling at all. I'm really excited to see what they do with this retelling. I can say that it still has a very Trigun-y vibe. So whether you are familiar with the original series or not, um, it's still got that, that desert cowboy sci-fi punk feel to it. And I don't think you're going to be disappointed. There are a lot of things about this new iteration that still feel very much like the original 90s uh, version, in my opinion. Um, for example, a lot of the a lot of the scenery, like this shot and uh, several other shots I could show you, but a lot of the scenery feels a lot like the late 90s anime for Trigun. So if you're still still concerned about it not feeling Trigun-y enough. <laughs> I, I promise you, it's it's going to feel pretty good. For anyone that was worried about how Vash's personality shapes up like the original, he's still a silly badass. <laughs> I don't think you need to worry about that. Again, this is only my episode one impressions, but I don't think we need to be concerned. He feels Vashy to me. And I'm excited to see what adventure he takes us on. As I was saying, um, these are just my thoughts on episode one. I'm really excited to see where this goes. I really enjoyed this first episode. Like I said, other than the one big change that they made that I was sad about, I, I think this has great things going for it. I will definitely be keeping up on this throughout the season and we'll probably give thoughts mid-season and then end season. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Um, have you guys watched it yet? What are your thoughts? 
Did you enjoy it? Are you too upset about the major changes that you don't want to give it a try? Hopefully I've convinced you otherwise. Are you watching any of the other anime for the winter season? I will be keeping up with Blue Lock. I'm going to be giving um, Buddy Daddies a try and I'll definitely be watching the Nier Automata anime. But yeah, let's talk about it in the comments. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Well, I guess read what you have to say. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for joining me for this episode and I hope you guys have enjoyed this glimpse and uh, yeah, I will see you in the next episode. Have a good one. Bye bye.